Ducks hosting the Predators, and the Ducks are plus 140 on the money line. The Predators are minus 165. The over-under is six goals. The Predators laying a goal and a half are plus 158, and the Ducks getting a goal and a half are minus 190. The Predators are on a two-game losing streak. The Ducks won the last game that they played. Head-to-head, -head, the Predators are on a four-game winning streak against the Ducks. The Predators are 6-4 and four against the Ducks in their last 10 meetings. The Favorite has won their last four meetings between each other. The Favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. However, the Underdog getting a goal and a half is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10, including the last game they played against each other. The Home Team is 8-2 and two in their 10 meetings. And the under is 5-4-1 in their last 10 games. The under 6 is also 5-4-1. The Predators are 13-20 against the spread this year. The under is 19-13 in the games in which they played in. And they are 6-8-2 on the road this year. The Ducks are 15-21 against the spread. The under is 19-17 in the games in which they played in. And they are 6-8-1 at home this year. The last game that they played, the Predators won 2-1 to in overtime. The game before that, the Predators won 6-3. to The game before that, the Predators won 4-1. to The game before that, the Predators won 3-1. to The last time that the Ducks beat the Predators was on January 16th of 2020. They won 4-2 to on the road. The last game that the Ducks played at home, they lost 6-3 to to the Predators. So food for thought. I'm going to take the Predators with the money line. I'm going to take the Predators laying the goals, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.